Hey guys, it's Hendrix, and today I'll be showing you how to do a multi-camera edit within Premiere Pro. I learned this on Skillshare, and I'm also using the sample footage, as you'll see, downloaded from Skillshare as well. This is part of an interview of a guy talking about some Game of Thrones figurine thing he participates in. I'm not really sure, but um, let's get started and get into the file. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up the project. I've already opened it up here. And we're going to only be using A, B, and C. So these three files right here. And what you're going to want to do if you are following along, I'm going to link these files on a Dropbox below. You can download these and then you need to set the endpoints for each clip at the clap. So when you see the clap there, in, same thing for B, same thing for C. Um, next thing you're going to want to do after you set those endpoints is you're going to want to select all of the footage, right click, and hit create a multi-camera source sequence. So when you do that, there's going to be a little prompt that comes up. And you're going to want to say the synch synchronized point is the endpoints because that's where we set it. And we can just name it multi-cam interview, whatever you want to do. So then you're going to get a little sequence right here with your name. And you cannot actually take that yet and start going through the different cameras and setting that up. You have to make a new sequence. So we're going to go in here, create a new sequence. Not really sure what the other sequence settings were. So um, we will have to just adjust that. So we're going to change sequence settings. Now you have a new sequence, and this is your multi-camera um, file, or this is where you're going to edit it from. So the next thing you're going to have to do to actually see all the different angles and be able to actually go through them and select which ones you want to show, you're going to have to go to this toolbar right here on the program monitor, and you're going to want to go to multi-camera. As you can see, we have first, second, and third angle here. And then uh, I have this one selected, so this is what the one that's going to be showing here on the right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go and we're going to start the video. And as it's going through the timeline, we're going to hit one, two, and three for each camera as it goes along. And when we're done, it will split it up. Uh, you'll see at the end. But So we'll start it here. A little bit about your hobby and what you do. My hobby is Lord of the Rings strategy battle game and it's a board game where you have miniatures of the characters of Lord of the Rings and you can recreate battles from the movie and the book of course, but you also need to paint them. Can you tell me a little bit more about the painting process itself? The painting process starts with uh, the base color of course and then you can stylize your own miniatures however you want. Uh, mostly I style my miniatures um, as correctly as the book describes them. So as we're going through, I'm just hitting one, two, and three in order to change the angles here. So this is obviously one, two, three. So that was obviously a very loose edit. I wasn't doing it with the intent of actually splitting it how I liked it more to show you guys how to split it up and as you can see in the timeline now we do have the sequence in here and it should be split up into all the different angles you had so now when we watch it back you'll see my hobby is Lord of the Rings strategy battle game and it's a board game where you have miniatures of the characters of Lord of the Rings and you can recreate the battles from the movie and the book of course and then lastly, we're going to change the audio, so we'll delete this audio under here. And we're going to go to camera A, as that wireless mic was connected to camera A. So we're going to take that audio, audio only, and we will put it directly under here. And it should match up. So if we play it through... Now we have consistent audio, we have all the things we need, 
and now this was just a tutorial on switching the cameras but now since you've done that all you need to do now is cut out basically the interviewers part when they're asking the questions and you're done so thank you for watching if you like the video please like it and if you want to see more videos like this and learn more things like this please consider subscribing